Okay, camera is set, and okay, take one, two, three. Okay, hello YouTube, I am the Hidden Dragon. I am the face of everything you've seen and will see on this YouTube channel in the future. So, um, this is the showcase for my LEGO uh, disc shooter sniper, rifle, whatever. And um, this showcase will actually be divided into separate videos. One part for the actual showcase, one part for uh, demonstrations for the uh, power, the, the range of this gun. Um, so yeah. Okay, so yes, I am the Hidden Dragon, otherwise known as Howie. Uh, it's not my real name, just a nickname some girls coined for me. And uh, it's a little easier to say than Hidden Dragon 129. So, this is the sniper that I made. It took me, uh, let's see, I spent three days making it, and I spent three months doing all of these modifications onto it. If you want a tutorial for this, uh, the tutorial will actually, I want to exactly make one, is actually a very, very simple trigger design. Um, so I'll just show you. The rubber band is right here. You pull this back. Um, this, is a, it, it's, this gun uses a composite rubber band system. So as this rubber band is pulled back, there's a rubber band attached to this bar, which this rubber band is attached to. So when you pull it back, this should swing upwards stay upward. Just swing upwards. Gives you enough, uh, you might have to turn this a few times, give enough slack to get strung onto the gear. And once you do that, this gear right here, which is attached to this gear right here, um, is held in place by this bar connected to the trigger. So when you pull this trigger, this was released, gear is released, allowing it to spin. This comes forward, and that snaps down. Keeps your band on the track. So the shot does not go flying anywhere else. So the shot's right under here, about I'd say um, 15 millimeter Lego um, disc, if you want to put it into that terminology. So when you string it, well you actually, when you put the shot in, you actually have to string the, the rubber band into these grooves, and so that keeps the rubber band into it, and so that's the importance of keeping the rubber band on the track. This thing is only a single shot rifle, this is not semi-automatic. Uh, Designs like this are, disc shooters are a little hard to make semi-automatic, so I keep the single shot. All the power is into what? It's into uh, one shot. Very accurate. Very powerful. Okay, so, basis of this gun. This gun's about three feet long. Uh, whatever you want to call it, like a M200 intervention. That's kind of what I modeled, modeled a lot of this design off of. Um, so it's got a stock here, telescopic. Uh, it does, this is the laser sight, so this is a laser right here, just a regular class 1 laser. This, held, this button right here is held on by this rubber band, uh, see, and if you get it right, it should um, shine right, ah, Jesus, this falls out of a line sometimes. falls out of line some okay there we go so if you get it right it should shine right through this front iron sight just like that you can see just like that and um, do you have a piece of tape on here if you can see this uh, the laser on this is pointed downwards so it shines through this front iron sight which is lower you see that see that iron sight so just like that and, um, so, I can adjust this up and down until I just really have to just bend this back part ever so slightly to get it shine through, and it just makes a difference of maybe, uh, an inch or two. But, like, each... I move this piece, this piece forward to get this to raise up a little bit. So that counts for, uh, just, like, if I were to shine it straight through, this barrel is actually, uh, pointed upwards. So this thing has a range of about 15 feet. If you want to give it that, I have tested. I have tested it, and I have fired multiple shots. They all land within a 15-foot uh, mark where the disc will hit the dot. So, en punto. Uh, uh, what did I say? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so, okay. Uh, let me see. So yeah, I do have some clips underneath of this right here and inside of there. That's for attaching a scope sight, which I don't use anymore. It's become a little obsolete. I've been using this laser. And, so I do have this laser pretty well centered with the, 
just with the middle of the barrel. Um, this kind of laser, I don't know, I, I got from my son. I just got this from my mom working at a medical clinic. They bring lots of these in. Okay, so onto the stock. The stock is a, okay, this part right here is solid Lego. And uh, this is attached to these two bars. I'm wearing a dark shirt. This, to these two bars and attached to these. So this does not wiggle very much. It's very, very solid, so it can go right, goes right up against the shoulder. It's like the M200. So, uh, rest on the bipod, and you have very sturdy stance right here. And so, uh, we can move on to, this is the, uh, so the ammo box is located underneath. This holds 14 shots, and, uh, alright, hold on, just gotta check the time. Okay, five minutes. Alright, it's not bad. Okay, I'm back. So, this box right here holds Fault 14 of these discs. And uh, I'm actually, no, I don't want to detach that, I'll just move up closer. Okay. Alright, so, this box right here, it does have a window here, you can see the shots in. Do I have good lighting? Let's see. Yeah, lighting's fine. Okay, so there's this is the slider port right here where I slide each disc out of and the next one is popped into place and I can load it back in just like that. And it's because of this, there's a plunger device right here. I have this rod which goes through and these rubber bands that pull it, hold it down. So when I pull this shot out, the next one was popped down so I can pull that one out. Same thing for loading. Just slide it, just push up, slide in. And so there's 14 of them in here. And so the foregrip is just this cage that I have built around the um, around this rod here, so nothing is interfered with it. So I can grab right here. Okay, back out and back. Okay. So that is the uh, basic parts of this gun right here, and this is the bipod. Um, this bipod is very sturdy. Well, it is somewhat adjustable. Uh, I don't like to bend this too far forward because of this bar right here. But uh, this is supported by um, three bionicle pistons. I'll move up closer again. So, as you can see right here, it's the front view. It's got all these connections to, there's a crossbar right in the middle. And that keeps each individual piece from wobbling that much more. So, get a good grip on this. So, these are the three pistons right here. And they're attached to this. Um, by that, yeah, this lighting isn't that great. But you get the point of this, so it's very sturdy. And it can easily move up and just fire off. Alright. So, that is the basis of this gun. And uh, there's not really much more on this. This version right here, I'm holding my dad. This version right here I have in front of you is slightly different than what I was actually that I actually had in the uh, in the trailer. Um, just actually all it was was uh, all the modifications I've done since the trailer was raise this, was raised the laser side up, to calibrate it a little um, more correctly, and let's see the I did con reconfigure some of these. I did have just a I just have a pistol foregrip um, instead of this cage right down here, and the ammo box I had positioned right here and a counterweight on this side. So I took those off and mounted this down here so it's a little easier. I could put a sling on this just sling it right over the back. But there's the two clips back here. Turn it around. So there's a couple clips like just right here and here that I used to store, uh, store these rubber bands. Uh, the size of rubber bands I use are, um, let's see, I got them in a I got them in this pack of rubber band, multicolored rubber bands from Hy-Vee, and I I'm using the yellow ones. Those are about the same size. I did have some other ones which I ran out of the same size of, so I got these and built my gun around them. This gun version is actually like a uh, hold on, checking the time one more time. Okay, so that's about the end of the video. Uh, okay, so that is the end of the showcase. So. That's all I gotta show you right now, and uh, the next parts will be up pretty soon. So I'm the Hidden Dragon. That's me. 
So, just call me Howard from now on. Goodbye.